Welcome to this channel where I make terrible financial decisions and I take you along for the ride. So, Black Friday. We all love it, but we also all hate it. It's a time of the year where everyone just can't help their greedy little selves and get their hands on some deals. Whether it's for family and friends that they're trying to buy gifts for, or for a lot of us, it's because we just want more crap. Behold my stuff. Because aren't we all a little materialistic, especially on these channels where we're devoted to just buying crap? So on one of my recent videos, someone commented that they would love for me to try cider. And if you haven't heard of cider, have you even been on the internet? Because they really like to target those ads towards anyone who likes cottagecore, preppy, cute, pretty much any girly aesthetic and even some sporty aesthetics. I too have been blasted with constant ads from them. And I finally succumbed, is that, the, is that a word? Succumb, succumbed? I finally broke down and, and, I, and I bought some stuff. Uh, especially after I got that comment, I was like, you know what? I could honestly review this brand. Now, I do have a little bit of experience with this brand previously. I have on a couple of occasions bought some stuff. So this is not a first impression review. I already have an opinion of them, which I will preface this review with. And that is you get what you pay for in the purest of sense. It is another one of those brands where it's cute, it's cheap, and the quality is meh. But it's not terrible. I would say if I were to compare it to other fast fashion brands that people know about, it is like between Shein and Forever 21. In fact, I feel like it's neck and neck with Forever 21 in terms of quality. And beating out Shein is not, well, let's just say in terms of the bar, the bar is on the floor with regard to Shein. So being above that is not, is not an accomplishment. So it's definitely one of those brands where it's hit or miss, read the reviews, look at the size measurements, make sure you know what you're looking at and hope and pray that you get what you were ordering in terms of quality and even what it looks like. And that's just really the online shopping experience, isn't it? Like you, you'll you experience that with any brand of any price point, honestly, if you're shopping online, but I feel like it's especially so with fast fashion brands and cider is no exception. Anyway, so my previous experience, I'll pop up some images of things that I've bought in the past. And one of the things that I bought the first year, I think it was 2021, I got a faux corset there and it's not bad. It's not Shein. Um, and then this year I bought a dress which I used in my autumn fairy look at the Folsom Ren Fair. And I really like that dress. It did take a little bit of finagling, but once I put the corset over the top, it was pretty good. Was it worth $40? debatable. It's definitely one of those places where you got to use those coupons and those sales to make it worth it. Because a lot of the dresses are like in the 30 to 40 price point. The skirts are kind of in the 20 to 30 and the tops are also 20 to 30, sometimes higher. So Black Friday was the perfect time to drop in there and give them a, a good old look-see and try them out. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to be trying on some clothes that I bought during the Black Friday sale. I had some store credit that I had won through like their little wheel thing. I also utilized, I think, a 15% off coupon and pretty much everything was 25% off. So it all, it, it, I'll put like the price breakdown on the screen here of like what the retail value of every, everything that I bought and what I actually paid. I'm also going to preface what my size is before I go to try everything on and as I try everything on I will tell you what size I got so that if you find those items on the website or the app you will have some point of reference because everything fits a little bit different let me tell you so I am a or typically a US size 4 I have a 35 inch bust which accounts to like 34 C or 32 D depending on the bra maker I have a 27 to 28 inch waist depending on how much dairy I've consumed and my hips are about 37 to 39 depending on how many squats I've done. I would say it's like 38. Let's just go with 38 at the widest point. So that's what we're working with and so let's go ahead and try some stuff on shall we? Okay so here is the first dress. It has kitties on it, of course I had to get it. I actually saw quite a few other creators receive this dress in a collab with Cider and I was like, 
I kind of wanted it. I was influenced by the influencers. As far as fit goes, um, it fits pretty snug like a glove. I would say that it's tight without being too tight. It was kind of a, a, ch a chore to get it up my hips, but once I got it on and I zipped it up, it fits pretty good. And I have like a thin sweater underneath. This is a medium. I'm normally a small in other brands and I'm a medium in this one pretty consistently. So, and as far as quality goes, it's lined. Like it's not just like the straight tapestry fabric on your skin, which is nice because it's a little rough. And the zipper feels pretty decent. Straps feel like they're pretty secure. Um, so it's, you know, it's definitely worth whatever money that it was, I think it was like 30 bucks before sale about. Yeah, not bad. I like it. It's cute. So number one is good in my book. I don't know why I'm acting so weird. Uh, I'll stop. Okay, here's number two. I have thoughts. But first, let me tell you my intention for this. I love the brown pinstripe. It reminded me of the 10th Doctor from Doctor Who, of course. And this year is the 60th anniversary and David Tennant is coming back. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll do like a femme 10th Doctor look. Ideas, it was it was a good idea in theory, but unfortunately the fit of this is super weird. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it, it like, cups the bottom of the boob in like a very weird way and kind of cuts in and I could barely button this up. This is a medium as well. It's also super short. Like I'm glad I'm wearing leggings. Otherwise I'd be mooning you guys. So I mean it's cute but super thin. Feels pretty cheap. This just ain't it and the straps feel kind of short. I don't know. I just not a, not a huge fan. I'm too lazy to return it so I had an idea and I think what I'm gonna do is unbutton these two and just like fold this down and it'll kind of look like a jacket lapel. What are we thinking? Does it look good? I don't know. Let me, let me look in the mirror real quick. I mean, yeah, it is. It's pretty cute. It's just like kind of pin it down. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This is like a four out of 10, to be honest, in terms of quality. If I had known that it was gonna fit like this, I would have passed on it. But I'm also, like I said, I'm too lazy to do any returns and I don't like doing returns. I've ranted about this in previous videos, but it's been found that a lot of companies that when they receive a return, especially with fast fashion brands, they don't actually resell it. It ends up in the garbage. So, and then of course, you know, the fuel and time to like ship it back. If I can, if I have like minor issues with the clothing item, I will try to alter it to make it work. It's more work for me, but I mean, I'm already destroying the planet by buying fast fashion. I don't wanna, anyway. <laughs> Okay, so I was super excited about this dress when I ordered it. I've been wanting a red velvet luxurious dress. However, it looks, it looks pretty good. It's, it's all right. My problem is it is incredibly uncomfortable up here. You kind of feel like, like you're being choked and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Also, I'll definitely have to wear a strapless because these old strappies like to show. It kind of like puckers out right here, which is weird. It's cute though. Like, don't get me wrong. I know there's gonna be a bunch of people in the comments like, oh my God, it's so cute. I don't disagree, babe. I don't disagree, but I don't, I don't like being choked. I'm not that kind of, it's not my thing. Let me guys show you a belt I got because it goes perfect with this. So I'm gonna grab that. Ah, I know how to put on a belt, I swear. I mean, look at that. It goes perfect. I've totally been influenced by the Whimsicott style recently. I did a Whimsicott show on whatnot and I low key wanted to keep everything. It's not like my personal aesthetic. You guys know more like cottage core, fairy core, hobbit core, but I like Whimsicott as well. And I've been watching a lot of early 2000s, late 90s shows that have that vibe lately. It's kind of gotten me feeling nostalgic and like loving that vibe. So I had to indulge myself a little bit and maybe get something with that style. I just, just like I said, I feel like I'm dying. Now let me show you actually how I tried on this dress initially. I put it on wrong and I forgot how it was supposed to look. So there is a possible solution, but it only works yet again in theory. So this is how I put it on initially because I forgot how it worked. And I was like, when I first tried it on before filming, I was just rushing and I was like, oh, this is kind of cute, but why is the back weird? Bruh. Yeah, it, it looks good from the front, but from the back, it's kind of busted. I'm gonna maybe see if there's a way I can make this like the permanent neckline because I actually don't mind it like this because I'm not being strangled. Okay, so I have thoughts. This is probably the most disappointing out of all of the items. First of all, I don't know how it looks on camera right now because my aux cord for my microphone is covering the viewfinder, but on the website, it looks like this. 
Tell me what color that looks like. It looks like mustard. Now, in real life, this is very brown. It is like camel taupe tan brown, very suede color. And then in the description of the dress, it describes it as orange. Which is it, cider? Is it yellow? Is it orange? Or is it brown? I mean, I'm not mad. This color is pretty cool. It's very like hobbity and I can make it work. It's just not what I was expecting. That's kind of what I was alluding to earlier when I was saying that you don't know what you're gonna get. Another thing is that it is incredibly short. It is practically a tunic and I'm glad I'm wearing my, my leggings because it, it's not, it's a shirt. Ain't no way in heck I'm going out in public bare my legs. Plus they're pretty white and pasty anyway. I think I'd blind everyone. I have some ideas because I, again, I'm trying to make things work. This would work as a very good tunic. So options. One, I could either just completely take this section of fabric off and just have it be like a crop top. The second option is I just shorten this portion and just have it be like kind of a peplum tunic and wear it with pants and boots and it's like a femme ranger look. Let me see if I can like, am I doing this right? Just like imagine. Eh. It has potential. We just need to figure it out. I don't know what I was doing. What was, what, what's this? Anyway, I would give this like three and a half out of 10. So this is the last item, these velvety starry bell bottoms. These are a medium, I say they fit me really good and they're pretty decent length. The, the actual bell part is high low. So I envision these with some platform boots. Another Whimsa Goth staple. I would say one caveat to this, one con is that if you have sensory issues, if you're neurodivergent, you might have a problem with how they feel. Um, it feels kind of weird. From the outside, it's like, whoa, what is this? And then on the inside, it's okay. But the problem that I foresee for people who have problem with seams rubbing up against them is this is cut to where it stops here and then there's a seam all the way around because this is cut kind of like a circle skirt so that it has like the most bell. So there is a rolled seam right here where you can feel it right above your knee. So it feels a little weird. I don't really have a huge issue with the feeling of seams but I can see it being a problem for someone else. So keep that in mind, but they're super cute. So final thoughts. This experience has pretty much reinforced my opinion that cider is pretty hit or miss. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's also not the best. It, if they do have something that you genuinely want and it works for the outfit or the look that you're going for, I'm not gonna discourage you from shopping there. I would just say be selective in what you get. Definitely don't go for a big old haul because then you're gonna increase the chance of getting a lot of duds. Definitely check the reviews and see if other people have gotten the same item, check their measurements and compare it to your own and then see if it's something that you want to take the risk on. It's that way with most places when you're shopping online, but especially for brands like this where it's it, where it's pretty mid, I would say with regard to accuracy, quality, and all that stuff. So again, they have some pretty cute stuff for pretty affordable prices. So if you need to shop there, then by all means, I'm not going to judge you. Am I going to go out of my way to shop there again in the foreseeable future? Not unless they have something that I really, really want. For now, I'm kind of like, eh, maybe next year, maybe not. Maybe I'll save my money for something else that I really, really want. Speaking of, I will have a haul coming up. Well, it's not really a haul because I only got a couple pieces, but I will have another review of Lace Made coming up. I pre-ordered one of their newer corsets. So be on the lookout for that. And of course we have three crafting videos that I'm currently filming. Yes, I'm trying to multitask and it is going as you would expect for someone with ADHD. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification. So you are notified when I post another video. And because YouTube is sometimes stupid, make sure you also follow me on my socials because I always post about my new videos over there. And yeah, definitely subscribe. Definitely join the family because the more people that subscribe to my channel and watch my content, the more that daddy Google pays me for putting their annoying ads over my content. I would like to pop off in 2023. So this could actually be a sustainable job for me because I love doing this. I have never felt more free and like I'm, I'm just like expressing myself and being who I am at my core and I love it and I love that you guys are coming along with me and being part of this journey. Every time I see a familiar face or familiar name in my comments, I get so happy. So thank you guys so much for always being there for me and if you are new, if this is the first time that you're on my videos, please binge my videos. I, re I really, really appreciate it and I look forward to getting to know you in the comments. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll, I'll see you next time, I suppose. Yeah.